Hey everybody, it's Eileen. I'm here for our Tuesday Facebook Live. And I know I'm at, on a um, different time than I usually am, but we have something happening in our family and I'm not sure I'm allowed to say what it is. Hey, Lisa. Uh, I don't want the surprise to be ruined. <laughs> Doubtful that any of you are going to the same event as me, but you never know. And I don't like to get in trouble. It's kind of an important thing. Maybe I'll tell you in the middle of the, the show because doubtfully anybody will watch that. Hey, hi, Jenny. Hey, Brenda. How is everybody today? Thanks for coming on early. Um, we've got a lot of stuff to do. I have some really cool samples. Hi, Charlotta and Judy Allison. Good to see you all. Did you have a good weekend? Hi, Maz. I hope so. Hey, Vicki. Who's pregnant? No, it's not pregnant. <laughs> it's something else. I, okay, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> hey, Penny and Janine. Uh, hey, Jimmy. Good. I'm glad you're here, Jimmy. And Sharon. Laura. Good to see you guys. Oh, and Laura and Pax. It's been a while. And the other Laura from Michigan. Kathy, hello. Yeah, today we're going to make, oh, there's Ronnie Lee. We're going to make one of these fun little stands. And I saw a question in the group about the display stand. So I thought, you know, we haven't done one in a while. Hi, Frida. And we're just waiting for our launch of Chapter 3, which I got today. You're camping. Oh, good. Good, Brenda. Yeah, this is what showed up. Oh, number one. Guess what? We've got the luster wax back in. Hey, Glum. Um, I've got gold. I think that's silver. Yeah. Gold, silver, and rose gold. I have eight of them. We sold out immediately last time I had them. And they're still in short supply, but I talked Sean into sending them. <laughs> well, they were back ordered, but I was like, Sean, please send them. So he did. And I also have these they're here hi kim potts and oh i missed somebody there's Miriam. hello i can't see let more people get on you'll have to repeat yourself yeah i don't want to repeat myself i only want to tell it once because i might be in trouble okay so th these are the new dies they're coming but i just wanted to let you know i'm going on vacation on friday so oh hey sandra and laura Karen Gartland. Hi. So if anybody needs any, the trucks are really hard to get. Once I am done with these, I only got 21. If you haven't tried it, that is good stuff. Yes, it is. Very cool stuff. Oh, it's good to see you, Jenny. Um, anyway, I only have 21 of the trucks, so I'm putting them in the uh, grouping. So if anybody wants them, they will be there. Uh, and I don't know it's not until October, or August, the middle of August, that they come back in. Also, lots going on. Let me just go down the list and tell you what's happening, all right? And then we're going to open a present. Well, I think of it as a present. Oh, thank you. I have to go to this event tonight. <laughs> so uh, this is from one of my team members, Wendy Kusky, who is very talented, used to do my packaging at Sizzix. And um, she is, well, she used to work at Sizzix, and she's very talented, but she also did my packaging. So I love what she does. So, all right, let me read this off. Okay, July 1st, we're having our release party. Yes, you can go, you can, Jimmy. Now, if you're in the UK, it would be better for you, shipping-wise, to go with a UK provider store, which um, I saw that Susan Siebert is there from Country View Crafts, so you could probably get it there. Hey, Rebecca. So, um, you know, look around, but um, you do need a truck in the ornaments. <laughs> okay, so our release party, where we're officially going to launch this. Hey, Katie Young, is on July 1st. That's Thursday. So instead of doing our regular Facebook Live, we're going to be doing our release party at noon. And hopefully, yes, Country View Crafts. Um, hopefully that is a better time for everybody. Okay. It's going to be not a lot of people because many people are on vacation. Hey, Kathleen and Patricia. So we're just going to, you know, wing it and, and 
go with what we have. There's Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Um, so that will be our release party and blog hop. Okay, so that goes live at midnight on the 1st. So you can go over there and see some of the fun stuff that the team has created. Um, some of them will have projects up but not be able to uh, be on the live because we will do a live and we will have some team members there. I know, Janine, how did we get here? It's crazy. Hi, Kim Potts and Ann Dexter. Good to see you guys. Okay, so on July 2nd, there's going to be a video on the Sizzix site that I did, and um, it's promoting um, the launch event on Create and Craft, which is July 3rd and 4th. So you will see the dies over there at Create and Craft. So, um, and I'll post all these because I don't want to go through the, the time zones here. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's what's happening in the next, well, four first days of first four days of July. So, and then we will be at the beach. We leave on Saturday, so that will be fun. I have two of my daughters coming and, uh, well, my son and my daughter and in-laws and family. So that will be fun to be together with them. And my mom is coming. She's going to stay with my sister and my brother's coming too. So it's going to be a fun time. Okay. I'm going to tell you now what's happening tonight. Don't tell anybody. All right. So we got invited to go to my nephew's place and he, <laughs> okay, Tanya, he is going to ask his girlfriend to marry him tonight. So I'm not sure what is going on. Like I'm hoping she says, yes, I assume she will. They've been going out like six years. It, maybe it's the new thing. I don't know. So anyway, we are going and we're supposed to wait up on the roof of his building and it's like 97 degrees today. So I'm going to be hot <laughs> and we'll see what happens. <laughs> so my sister-in-law, his Patrick's mother, Holly is coming and her, my brother-in-law are coming in tonight and they're going to stay with us. So, uh, anyway, I'm sure we'll have lots to talk about. <laughs> so that's these kids these days. That's what they do, you know? <laughs> so I'll let you know what happens. But, uh, anyway, I have some really pretty projects strip off. <laughs> well, that would make a hit. <laughs> Not in a scary way. Yeah, I know. Well, it's 630. So hopefully it'll be calmed down a little bit the heat, but we'll see. Anyway, I have some really pretty samples to show you guys. And I also have this package. Whoa. Um, I think I'm just going to open it now. I know what's in it, but I haven't seen it yet. And this is what put me in the mood to create this project tonight. Because Wendy Cusky told me that she got, oh, look at this. Okay, she scored a bunch of wallpaper, but, or not wallpaper, fabric books. You know, like samples. Look at these. Oh, wow. Oh, these are so pretty. These are big samples. <laughs> Don't say that, please. That's scaring me right there. Ugh. Ooh, look at these, like tapestry. I think they're going to work up into some books. That's what I think. Aren't they pretty? Oh, Wendy, thank you. Wendy is off camping. These are, wow, really cool. They're like kind of, um, I don't know, Art Deco-y? Aren't they cool? I don't know if they're curtain. I don't know what kind of, yeah, it's decorator fabric, so yeah. I know. Aren't they neat? All right. We'll have to we'll have to play with this another day. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Look at these. Oh, these are good colors. Wow, that's shiny. Look at that. Now that would make a cover. All right. And then there's like little These are just kind of earthy some of them and bright like a little leopard print. Oh, these are pretty. They're kind of summery. So anyway, when she said fabric, it kind of made me start thinking about some fabric that I got the other day. Not as thick. Oh, that's a pretty one. 
citrus orla design fabric <laughs> a nerve twitch oh look at that one too oh you see these are not big enough though this is the thing these are not big enough to do a display stand because i need a long one yeah these are real they are tanya these are your colors all right yeah these are pretty now this hmm, i just don't think it would be long enough they might be 12 by 12 let me measure them uh 12 and a quarter and i think i don't know i think it's a little bit heavy for what we're going to do today but i definitely will be trying this with some book covers so thank you wendy how exciting is that and wendy i hope you have fun on your trip okay so these are really cool um they will fit the notebook die, any of the small ones, the passport book, probably not the wrap journal unless you chopped it off. Maybe one piece of the, if you chopped off the uh, folio book. But anyway, these are the fabrics that I found at Hobby Lobby. And these are just a light cotton. And I like these because if there are any dies, like the wrap journal, anything that's longer than 12 inches, you know, you got the problem of it's longer than 12 inches, which is how long um, paper is. So, you know, I'm always looking at things like wrapping paper, fabric, other things that don't have uh, limited length on them. Hey, hi, Diane and Gina. How are you doing? All right. So I'm, well, let's see, maybe I'm trying to think of the best way to show these. Look at this, though. Is that not adorable? It's a shaker. I'm trying to figure out which way is the better way. If I should do it as with the, maybe with the camera down would be better. Hang on, let me, let me turn the camera down. Uh, all right, and let me get my computer going here and see if I can get you guys on here. All right, let's see. Somehow I just turned Siri on. Okay, there we go. All right, I am gonna turn the camera down and I will be there in a minute, okay? Right now, are you ready for some cool samples? Let me move it over a little. All right, coming, coming up. Okay, so here's our little shaker. See, you can see that better. That is a better way to do it. All right, let me just see if I'm on here. Yes, okay. That was made by Lisa Hole. Isn't that adorable? All right, so you can see that this stand, now here's one, I sometimes I store them flat because I can, they're easier to store and I don't wreck anything. So let me show you how you put this together. And there is a little trick to this. What I do is I take this flap with these, like I think of it as a big E, <laughs> and I fold that under, and then you just push, and you'll see that this snaps into that little notch and then you just press and it goes right into position. So the fun thing about it is you can do it either this way so it stands up straight like that or you can orient it that way and it's more like kind of a desk calendar and <laughs> kind of two upside down kitty cats. So you can uh, pick whichever way you like. Okay, now here's one from Jenny, also pretty. And this has really cool kind of waxy finish on it. So see, same thing. And you could do whatever you want on here. This is so pretty. Just one photo would even just be amazing. All right, I'm going to I'm going to start going through cuz I have a lot of them. Now this one Susie did and she made it for a whiteboard. So she did her um uh, vinyl and then she made it into a whiteboard. So we're going to do the same thing. Just send it through like that. 
and snap it in. And you can see, these would be great if you had like, a, if you were having a sale or something and just write on here in whiteboard, uh, you know, 99 cents or whatever it is. Uh, and all you need to do, and I'll show you how I'm gonna cover mine today. I'm gonna cover it with that fabric. So um, here's a couple more. Now this is one that we did. This was a Facebook Live we did a while ago. And this one is a calendar, and I use this. This is up on my desk all the time. And I just wrote in here and I did a little doodling. So if you want to go back and see how we made it. Um, one of the other things that I really like about this die is that it can store flat. So say you wanted to mail this to somebody or, you know, I was thinking it'd be a cool kind of Christmas card thing to put in the mail. And it does store really flat. And then you could just make these for Christmas. And the other thing I wanted to say was, I'm working on the calendar. I thought that I could get them up before uh, the show tonight, but I got in the uh, supply of dyes and I had to get them out of my kitchen and down the stairs so, uh, and check them in. So where does the dye come from? You can find it in my Etsy store, Jeanette. Uh, I sell them. Um, let me show you. Oh, I don't have one here. Well, I have the dye itself. But it's an XL die, so once we start shipping it, it cuts all in one pass. And that's the other thing that I like about it, that you just run it through one time and it's done. So we'll do one of these in a second. I'll show you how to get ready. So anyway, that's another one. So here's one that I did for 2020. And uh, I had it facing this way. Um... You know, so this one went that way, this one goes tall. So you can do it however you like, whichever way. The, the way that I look at it, it is easier to see if I have it standing up because it's up on a shelf. So you can decide. So this is one of the ways I want to show you how to do. Very easy. And here's the other one. I said three ways. So I want to make a magnet board to hold my dies. Um, this is a photo. It's kind of a small photo, but you could put a couple of them. This is another Facebook Live that I did, and I can't believe how that happened to line up because it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Inspirational quotes would be great, Laura. And thanks for posting the link. It was that glum. Yes, of course. Thank you. Um, Yes. Okay. So that is the other way. You can easily hold photos. And so all I did for that was I just wrote bloom on a piece of paper, stuck it on, and then left a little bit open here so you could just tuck things in. So those are what I want to do today. But let me show you some of these other ones. Here's one from Tanya. So pretty. And like she said, these are her colors. And she made this pretty little flower and this cool pen holder. So that you can see that just sits on your desk and you leave your make your notes and um, very easy and handy. Here's one from Jenny Atkinson, I believe. I don't see her name on here, but it looks like her or it could be Jenny Marples, but I think it's Jenny Atkinson. And um, that one is pretty, too, with her little pins and lace. Uh, I do have one by Jenny Marples. Look at this one. To hold your jewelry. How smart is that? Look at that. She made these two little... This is from the treasure box, the lid, or the uh, hinges. And so you can just kind of tighten it to where you want. So if you sold jewelry, this would be the perfect way to either display or to sell. You know, who wouldn't buy that? You're getting a stand and the jewelry itself. And by the way, that's a very cool necklace. So I love that. Uh, what else? Now here's one from Pam. She made like a little book out of it. Um, thank you, Glum. A post-it note holder. Look at how thick that is. So that's a little stand for a post-it note holder. Very handy on your desk. And you could tuck a pen right in here. What else? Here's another one from Pam. This holds a little notebook. So same idea. You could put your phone in there too. She extended her um, little tab thing and had that kind of in a different way. So that's cool how she did that. What else? We have this, and this one is from Mitsiana? I'm not sure. I don't know who that's from. 
Fill me in. The team did go to town with this dye, Jenny. You're not kidding. Now that, I think, came from Dollar Tree because I've seen them there. So you can get the smaller ones. Um, when I do put these up, they're sized to fit like perfectly on the display stand. And these will be $2. And you can do a digital download in my shop. So all you do is you pay your $2 and then you can print as many of these as you like. I printed these on cardstock because I like them nice and thick. But you just could print them on whatever you want. Or you could put a background paper on. Yeah, look at that. All those beautiful flowers. Here's another one from Pam Bray. And she did really go to town with this. She made like a little mini album and stand. And then you just slide it into a little the background here or the back of the the stand so lots and lots of ideas uh oh we lost a jewel wait a minute okay so that's cute and here's one now this was really clever this was from Anita Houston but I lost the T <laughs> and it's felt and so you can make a little felt board. You actually can buy the felt that comes, that looks like that. It's like a, a corduroy. So I think I'll just put that right there <laughs> strategically. So that I thought was really a cool idea, felt board. That'd be fun for kids, you know, with their letters or something to be playing with that. That would entertain them forever. You always want that. And then this one is a really cool finish. And I'm not sure who did that one either, but I think that is amazing. You know, so you can practice all of your techniques and do them on here and then just add a couple, a photo or something, and uh, you're done. So let me show you how quickly these go together. I have to put them all away. Hang on a minute. Oh, and here's one more. This one is pretty too, and I'm not sure who did that either. But just like a little note holder and... Um, that was my pen because I needed a green pen. <laughs> so that's really pretty. I love that paper. It's like a little postcard. So anyway, sorry if I lost the label to, if I didn't know who it was from. Sorry about that, guys. But you're the team, and the team is amazing. So all of them are the collectively genius people who get to make these samples. Well, I get to have them make the samples, which is really nice. So what I want to do today, I'll tell you, I have been making a lot of videos the last couple days. And so what I want is something that will hold my dies. So I have, was talking about this the other day. This is a vent cover. I'm not sure where I got it. Uh, I pick them up wherever I can find them, but it's a piece of magnet. And I'm going to cut this down to fit right here. Actually, I'm going to cover as much of this as I can because I want to hold a lot of dies down, okay? So let's go ahead and make our cover, and then I'll show you how we'll do that, okay? So what I have is I have some Easy Cut Adhesive. This is going to hold that fabric on just great. I also have some mat board. Hey, Alice Walls and Mandy. I know. Aren't they amazing? All right, so this is our base. So I already took my uh, mat board out and my, oh, okay, I have two pieces. And I die cut my, or I cut my fabric and I just used my cutting pad and I know that I have exactly the right size that I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a piece of mat board, which I thought I put out here somewhere can't find it but I will get another piece hang on just happen to have one handy <laughs> never far all right so I'm just going to cover these with my adhesive and I'm going to do both sides because fabric is fairly thin so I'm not worried that it's going to be too thick or anything it'll go through the die just fine or through the machine so I'm just going to cover my mat board with my adhesive Okay, there's one, and I probably should do it all the way to the end because that would be the one thing that I would need, <laughs> and I'd run out of adhesive. <laughs> all 
right. This this die does go right to the end, I will say. Just to make it nice, perfect size. Okay, so I'm just covering both sides with my adhesive. I do love that fabric. I don't know. It was I was had my friend Lorene with me. I was like, is that like really bright? Because it is pretty bright, that pink in there, but I think it's kind of cool. And it's the summer, you know, why not? Fuzzy things all over the place. I don't know what that's from. Okay. And let me just put this on and then we will put our fabric on. Do you guys cut your fabric or tear your fabric? I kind of do both. But this one I cut because I was using the uh, cutting pads as a guide. It does look like it could be a scrapbook paper. And you'll see there's some wrinkles on here, but I'm not going to worry about that. This adhesive is going to just fix that. All right, so I'm just peeling off my release paper here. So what would you guys make out of this die? I bet you have some good ideas. All right, so I'm going to put this one on first. And what I do is I hold it over it and I kind of let the middle go down first and then just kind of let it let it go and then smooth out from the center like that. And you'll see if there are any um, wrinkles, it'll just come right out. Let me put on my light here because I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if this will help, but... All right, so there's one. All right, so let's just take our adhesive off the back and we'll put our pink fabric on. And honestly, you don't really see the second side that much, but it does kind of peek through on the, on the, uh, in the background. Oh man, come on. So this one has the selvage. I'm going to trim around it. And the other thing nice about it is there is no, um, there's no directional stuff, so I don't have to worry about that. That's the last thing I need on my mind today. <laughs> I'm trying to do a million things. And thank you all for your help this weekend uh, with my mojo situation. I did manage to get one of the videos done, and I think I'm going to shoot the other one tonight. I have my samples done, as many as are going to get done. I have samples from the team in, except one box. So, um, I don't know. I might give it another day. We'll see. But it's still on target and in deadline time. So that's good. And I'm not caring about how I trim this because this is going to die cut and all of this stuff will just get thrown away. So... Here's my die, okay, and I'm going to place this side down because I think I like that um, the best. So that's going to be this right here, okay, that, that'll that be this side, I think. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, all right, and we do have plenty of room here, so I'm just going to place that on my die and my two cutting pads. Where is my second cutting pad? Here's one. And let me get my machine. And away we go. So I'm trying to decide, guys. I don't know about doing Facebook Lives next week. We'll be at the beach and on vacation and have five little kids around. And I mean, I might do one, but I'm not sure. So stay tuned on that. I'm going to try and pack up some stuff. My daughter wants to do quilling, which, like, really? Okay. I have stuff, of course. <laughs> so we may, we may pop in with a quilling <laughs> demo. Who knows? All right, here we go. So this is what happens. Now, you might find some of these. You may get a little, couple little fibers. You know, that's normal. But otherwise, it just pops out. So there's my E. So 
Let's put this together. You're not going to believe how fast this is going to go together. All right. First, we're going to go ahead and fold these over on all the score lines. Now, be careful on this one because it looks like this should be a, that is a score line, but don't bend these. Okay. And then there's another one here. Okay. So let's go ahead and fold this up. So what we're going to do is, like I said, I'm going to take my E, I'm going to flip that over, and we're going to push, and we have our stand. Look at it. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love how that came out, because I would like to see that around my magnet. And now, oh, yes. Okay, so the other way it can go is like this. That does seem a little more stable to me, but it's not going to matter, because I'm doing a piece of magnet here. So whichever way it is, you know, I could put another strip up here too, which I might do. So let's get our magnet piece. And I wanted something nice and sturdy. So hopefully that is sturdy enough. All right, let me get my trimmer. Hopefully this is going to be okay with the trimmer. I don't know. I haven't tried cutting this before. Um, magnet sheet. <laughs> All right, so let's measure how big we want this. I'm going to say let's go to the max here. So that is, uh, well, let's say four and a half by three and a half. Okay, and then this would be four and a half by maybe one. Yeah. All right, well, let's just cut four and a half by three and a half. And hope that this doesn't blow out my caterpillar. Now we've got some little things at the end. It's kind of wrinkled. I'm going to trim that off first. And we'll get to see if this is going to... Yep. Oh, yes. This caterpillar, you got to love it. All right, so let's do three and a half. Well, let's do four and a half. Then we can have some to play with. Okay just fine and I think let's just make sure one and a half by three and a half okay and then we said one so let's do another strip just in case there that's enough for two of them so that's good if I wanted to make another one okay so I think I want to use something really strong to put this on and I don't think there's a right or wrong side but I could have been a little bigger but I kind of like seeing this through it so that's okay so I could glue it or uh, hmm, maybe glue would be better what do you guys think glue glue or tape what do you think I have this, it's really strong. And this is stuck down pretty good. I think this should be fine. Oh, Janine, I love this cutter pillar. I've had it for, ooh, more than 10 years. And it never needs, um, re, uh, what do you call it, sharpening. All right, that one looks a little scratchy, so I guess I'll just do over here. And it does feel like there's something on there. All right, I'm just going to stick this down. Oh, and I got a new pair of scissors. Let me show you. Sizzix scissors. Really nice. They sent me a big box of stuff. I'm going to be pretty strong with this tape because I don't want that coming off. And those dies, they're not that heavy, but, you know. One side is better than the other. Uh-oh. Well, let's hope it's this one. Maybe I should have tried a magnet with it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, that's new. Not supposed to show you that. Ooh, ooh. Hang on. Let me find. I hid everything because I'm trying to do these videos. Shoot. Where are all my dyes? Okay. Hang on. All right. This is, here's one. Let's see. Put wet glue in between the red tape. That's a good idea. All right, let's do that. Let me do. Okay. 
Okay. What kind of wet glue are you thinking? I, I was thinking um, this art glitter. All right, I just want to keep that flat though. All right, let's see how this works. Mm, no. Watch it be this one. Yeah. You're right, Maz. Wrong side. All right, well, good thing we have another one. Yeah, that feels good. That one, no, not so much. Well, that one's better, though. All right, so this is the... <sighs> Maybe I'll just do an X and do glue. Art glitter glue would be perfect. Okay, Maz, good idea. What would I do without you guys? I don't know. I would have, now I'm gonna have to peel glue or tape off that piece of magnet. I mean, I do want it to last. And they're not that heavy, but I want them to hold. Okay. This thing is all gooky. This has been getting a workout. I made seven projects in one day. And they weren't too bad. Pressure was killing me though. <laughs> it was better once I just started, you know? It's always like that. Okay. Hey, Mitsiana! It isn't stuck down, that's true. Well, maybe I could use it for something else. I don't know what. It's not, not magnetic. Well, yeah, that would have ruined my project. Well, I guess I could have stuck this one on top of it, but why? Okay, almost there. Okay. All right, you ready? Moment of truth. I'm excited about this because I was losing all these little dies and I did lose a couple. I don't know where they are. They're just tiny. All right, let's test it out. All right, tags. Oh, yeah. Yes, look at that. Yeah. Yes, this is good. All right. Very good. Okay, I like that. So let's put this one on too. Let's test it. Eh. Yeah, much better. All right, let's just do one line of tape. Yeah, that's shaping up. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and then you could have ones that kind of stick up a little bit or bigger ones. Let's, we'll try it. I'm going to take that off first because that was a pain getting it off with glue around it. Yeah, I think it's good to have both. Kind of keeps the sides contained. I don't know. People say they do glue on t top of tape, but I just can't wrap my head around that. All right, let's see how this... That could have been a little bigger, but that's okay. That should hold... The other thing is, I'm not sure if this is going to fold up. We'll see. Yeah! Look at that, guys. So all of your little, like, um, well, I'm just looking at this. These are the things that gave me the heartburn. These little bird, this stuff, you know, they were just all over the place. They would get stuck on, uh, in the paper or wherever. It was just a pain. So, yes, now I've got a nice little stand, and it's pretty. All right, let's see if we can fold it up. I 
think we can, but it might stick out a little bit, but that's all right. Watch me lose these. <laughs> no, almost ready. Let me just see how strong this is. Yeah, even this big one, look at that. This is good magnet. They do that so they can move wiggle room. Okay, well, let's see. All right, so we're just gonna, yeah, I mean, that's still, that works fine. And so easy to put back together. Yes, I love it. Okay, so that's one way. And then I'm just going to tell you how I would do it the other way, which is for the calendar. Um, when I print it, I just take, now this one I stapled, but this was one of my first ones. Um, that's even a fake one <laughs> because I had to do my packaging and that was the font that I used for that one. But this one, what I did was I printed it out. It comes in two eight and a half by 11 sheets. So you cut them up so you can have six on each page and you cut them to this size, which I think is four by three. Yeah. So it comes out to four by three. So you can print out as many as you like. And then you cut them, trim them, and then what I did was I took um, some of this PVA glue, which is good because it's flexible. So I just took them, um, when I got them cut to size, and put some glue along the top so that they're gummed, you know. What is the red tape? That is this. Red liner tape from Thermoweb. Um, I... I think I'm going to be getting the half inch, but it's not ready yet. The packaging isn't ready, but that's what I used. I'd like to use strong stuff because I'm working with mat board. It's got to be strong, you know? So anyway, once you have your calendar, you know, you cut up your two sheets of paper and then you make a little pad out of it. And then I put a backing on there of just some chipboard that I think was the, uh, backing to a notebook or something like that and I attach that also and then I tape that on and it works great you know and then I've got my calendar and I know what day it is <laughs> it's these days who knows what day it is and then this has like a little bump there let me just and then it lays flat if you want so that's the number two idea all right so we've got the Got, and then it snaps in. That's what I like, that it just snaps into this bottom piece here so it's not flopping around. All right, so one idea, two ideas, three ideas. You've got your photo idea. So that is what we're doing with this cool die. Does anybody have questions? Hi, Jenny. Yes, thank you. I think it is. You know, the more I play with it, the more versatile it becomes. <laughs> Why not? Now, let's see if I can get this off. That's going to drive me nuts. Probably not. Oh, maybe. Hang on. Oh, I should use my undo. <laughs> hey, Leslie. Sorry. I know I'm late. I told I told everybody earlier. My um, show the shaker heart card. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that cool? So she did her artwork in the background and it looks like she took a couple pieces of mat board and just used that inside as a spacer and then added in snowflakes and glitter, like crystal glitter, looks like. Yeah, you just wanna make sure that you don't have that coming out. <laughs> and this one, I don't think, I wouldn't take that apart. You probably could though. Yeah, you can. It actually lays flat. Yeah. So you could make them for Christmas or whatever. Foam tape for the spacer. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Lisa. I can't feel it. Yep, it is. She knows her stuff, that Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> I know. It's just fun to play with. And the, I mean, it's perfect scale. And that little deer and a little pop-up snowman. How cute. <gasps> you think? I think it is. I think it is, Lisa. It feels like it's got some give. 
Yeah, and it's sticky, so pretty sure that is foam tape. Can you do the diary on UK at four A four paper, please? If it isn't too much, oh, um, Maz. You know what? It doesn't matter. You're just gonna have a little bit left at the bottom. It shouldn't matter because the A or whatever eight and a half by eleven is a little smaller than what you have in the UK. You did make this a long time ago. Yes, wouldn't it be fun? Oh, okay, if I send the artwork. Okay, well, I have the measurements. It's probably no different. I can just put it on a different size paper instead of the, um, you know, whatever you call a, whatever we have, I don't know what it is, eight and a half by 11. I don't know if it's a anything. So, all right, we'll figure that out. That's a good idea. I hadn't even thought of that. Okay, you bought it last year. It didn't work on A4. Oh, okay, Sheena. Now, what's what's the width on that? You could use your fuse tool for a flat version. Oh, you could slip it in. You'd make a little pocket and just slip in the dates. That's true. A4. <laughs> Karen, that does not help me at all. I mean in inches... <laughs> I never learned the right way to do centimeters. I'm sorry. They kept telling us that we were going to have to learn it by in 10 years, and we never did. It was an empty threat. <laughs> Your standard size is different. I know. I know. All right. Well, let me look it up, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. Print the calendar to fit a particular size of paper. Oh. Hmm. Let me, let me look into that, because that is... That's an interest. That would be interesting for other things too. So let me. Oh, eight point two five by twelve. Oh yeah, that's an extra inch. See, we're eight and a half, and I center it in the middle. So you have just a half an inch in between. So even if yours is skinnier, it'll it, it would just have a narrower version, um, narrower border. So all right, well we'll figure it out. That didn't work, Glum. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out. Okay, I'm I'll look at it tonight and um, get this done, and then I'll put I'll try and put two versions in the Etsy store. So whichever one works for you, then oh, I just broke a nail. Um, then that that will work for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Wish me luck at our our party. I hope. She says yes, I imagine she will. Oh, okay. All right, we'll 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 take a look. Thank you, Judy. All right. Check the setup screen on the printer. It really should, because it's only a... Yes, Donna, this die is in my Etsy store. It's called the Display Stand. I think there's a link further up. So, well, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I need to go get ready, because I need to... Like I said, we have company coming tonight, and I still have a bunch of dyes up on my um, my kitchen counter, so I've got to get the rest of them down here. So, yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed is right. I'll let you know, okay? I'll let you know what happens. I'll send a picture. All right. See you guys. Thanks. And thanks to all my team for all the great samples. Don't forget to come on Thursday for our blog hop, and it will also be... Uh, release party on Thursday, July 1st, okay? And then you'll get to see the new dies, okay? Pictures, yes, yes, yes. Oh, it doesn't, you did it last year. Okay, I will, I will work on it. Okay, thanks guys, see ya, bye.